Hi everybody, it's Christina here. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm giving you, I guess, an update on my whole hotel situation. Um, if you didn't see my first video to catch you up, I booked a hotel that said it was reserved now pay later because I didn't have the money in my account yet. And I was I wasn't sure if this was the place that I wanted wanted, um, but I was definitely thinking that it was the one. Um, so I went ahead and booked it, and they charged me like three hundred and fifty dollars to reserve it. Um, they called it a deposit, but when I checked out, I used a third party website, so I booked it through another place, not that actual place. And it was supposed to be a little bit cheaper. Um, which, from the bill that the company sent me and the bill they sent me, it was cheaper. Um, but I would end up paying what the company was going to... Anyway, anyway, um, I didn't authorize the charge. I had clicked reserve now, pay later. So, it said due at this time, nothing. So, um, that, that company should have never touched my bank account. They did. They withdrew the money and, um, unfortunately for me... It was at a wrong time. It's when like all my bills are due, all of them hit at the same time. So it ended up overdrawing my account. And I never knew that this deposit was coming out until it was too late. Because they sent me something after I had um after I had already or after I had thought I had checked out saying pay deposit and then without my consent they charged my card. Anyway, I um I asked the third party company to step in and to, I disputed it, and they're going after, or they're, they're asking the comp, that original company, the one who owns the hotel, if that they could refund my money, and if they could have a waiver to not charge me a cancellation fee. So, um, they sent me an email yesterday. And they said that they should have me an answer within 48 hours, or they'll get, keep me updated. So far, um, it's not looking very good. Because from the contact that I had with the hotel, they said that they can't cancel or modify any bookings through that website. This website that said they can't modify or, or cancel any bookings without their approval. So I'm very confused. I don't want to pay and and so they already took $350 out and if I cancel now without them saying hey we'll waive this fee then I have to pay another $200 so I'm really I'm really stuck on what to do so I'm really hoping that um it's not much of an update because honestly uh nothing is getting done nothing is really so i'm i'm going to probably go to my bank and please if you're in the legal field please tell me you've stayed this far what should i do should i go ahead and go to the bank dispute the charge and then change my credit card information so that or my debit card information so they don't try to charge me the 200 um on top of what i already have or should i wait and just see i mean i'm gonna wait and see uh if they are willing to give me my refund, a refund, um, but I'm not sure if they could, st I know they could still probably come after me for the $200, but also I had shown them proof, and I've shown Expedia the proof, saying that there was nothing at booking due, and the hotel said that I needed to contact the third party and show them the, the or show them the itinerary and everything that said that I didn't know anything, and I did, and the whole on um, it's just becoming a mess i just want my money back and i want to cancel this hotel so if anybody could please let me know what to do that'd be wonderful and i'm just gonna i guess wait until tomorrow to see if they issue my refund and if they cancel my hotel but honestly i think my best bet would maybe be to unfortunately cancel my debit card and dispute the charge because i never gave them the okay to, char to charge my account i didn't even know it was going to happen and so yeah I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just wait and see what happens. I'm going to wait until one more email and then I guess go from there. It is very, I'm very, I'm nervous because I want my money back because uh, it was a bad time for it to come out and it kind of messes with the rest of my month. So I need this. I need something in my life to work out. So praying that, um, 
it goes all right because I really honestly I need something something to work in my favor for once so that is all that I have for you guys I will talk to you later when I get I'll probably do another video um once I get an update and we'll just have to go from there because honestly nothing is getting done nothing is getting solved um everybody seems to be chasing their tails so and if you're in the legal field, please, please, please let me know because I'm pretty sure they could still come after me for the $200. I just don't know if they will. Anyway, whatever. Love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day.